dirt. Yo, it's your boy EJ. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys been having an awesome weekend. I know it's Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Today my phone went down. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been recording today. Shooting videos, nothing like that. I just been spending time with my beautiful daughter. We went on a nice bike ride. We ate good. And we got some more things planned for the week, man. So thank you for everybody that reached out and told me Happy Father's Day. I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Shout out to my brother, man. Shout out to my brother, man. Out in Florida, man. Hey, baby girl. Hi. Yes? Hi. Hey. Mm, you got the best hugs. Daddy. Yeah. Help me, Santi. Mm, no, sorry. No, I know. Nobody told him. No, I know. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I thought I would show you guys the puppies I do have available. Daddy. Yes. Y'all need to look out for the Frenchie. Yeah. Because, you know, don't forget to look on Instagram because it's going to go. Okay, guys, back to here. All right. Yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and be on Daddy, the lookout, man. We Daddy, do have... Daddy, 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 Daddy. I know, I know. I got to tell him again. I know, but yeah, be on the lookout, man. We got fire, man. We got fire in the yard. We do have a couple puppies available. Um, which one's available? Uh, that one is right there. Which one? Damn, he get darker? No, he's Seems darker, though. This boy right here is available, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So you don't miss the opportunity to own this big guy. He is. These are the two last males available. If you have to choose which one you would just choose, man. Daddy. These are the last two males available. Hold on, you will. Daddy, I think that I got that one. That, I think that's great. Yeah, so these are the last two males available. Yep, great is available. I know in the last clip, you see the other female, she is available. Oh, she's juking her. Oh, my God. Yeah. Navy kids different, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They just a little bit different. They just a little bit different, man. They got faster. One muscle. Hey. Hey, boy. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. Hey, Rocky. 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 Hey, 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 Rocky. That's a cryptic mirror right there. She is a vape. Boy, she getting big. Hold on, cuz. Ooh, she getting big. A little skinny cell. Look at this girl right here, man. She's so beautiful. Daddy, she's so beautiful. She is one of the females that, I, that I'm that i deciding to keep. But she is available for 4500 It's the only way I'm going to sell my Cuban female. It's for 4500 my keeper female, man. Oh, Nyland Zeus. Daddy, if yes. you got like five, like ten puppies, um, ten Frenchies, and you sell them, but not on the black one, you would have been real been rich. <laughs> We've been rich, rich. It's a beautiful girl. So I have two Frenchy. females available of Zeus. Hold on, Leo. Frenchy time. My daughter loves the Frenchie, y'all. She always with the Frenchie. Frenchie's always with her. They bonding. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. These are the puppies that's available, man. We got my keeper female right there. She's $4,500. These two males right here are $3,500 a piece. We got a blue fine female. She's available for $2,500. Blue Merle, she's $6,000. Blue fine, $2,500. Keeper Merle right here. This girl right here, I'm not selling her. This one right here, the Cryptic Merle, I've been trying to get to her. Look, price. Look, not for sale. Not for sale. She's gonna be huge, so big, hundred plus pounds. But yeah, uh, I try to show you guys dogs in the daytime, but no. 
I'm sorry to show you guys dogs in daytime, but man, when I tell y'all it'd be like a hundred degrees outside, it's not a it's not an over exaggeration. It literally be way too hot. So I try to keep their exercise and all that stuff kind of on the minimum when the sun is at its brightest. You know what I'm saying? So most of the videos will come either early in the morning or late in the evening because I don't want to get them too exhausted in the sun. But these are some of the healthiest dogs, man, in the world. And my Frenchie, my Frenchie don't get to come outside in the daytime. She got to spend, you know what I'm saying, a lot of time inside. But anyway, um, make sure you follow the Instagram at NBF underscore kennel. I am dropping more videos. A lot of things that go on on the Instagram page be kind of more, a little bit more exclusive than YouTube because for that, it's a quick little post for YouTube. It's kind of like, I got to make a video and stuff like that, which I don't mind making. Shout out to my brother, man. My brother hit me up today, man. I love you, bro. You called me. You talked to me. We talked today. We had a good conversation. I think we talked for almost an hour. He showed me, uh, let me know he liked what I'm doing. He appreciated me, man. And I appreciate you, man. Whenever y'all call me and shit right there, y'all literally make my day better. Called me, told me happy Father's Day, man. I appreciate that shit, man. And shout out to all the fathers out there, man. Listen, if you're not where you want to be at right now, you you know you're a father, man. As long as you trying, dog. As long as you trying, dog, you winning, bro. Listen, the kids don't give a fuck what they got, what they, they literally, they say they care about that shit, but they really don't really care about that shit, bro. Kids care most about the time you can spend with them, as much time you can spend with them as possible. This is how you get your kid to love you the most. You spend time with them, all right? Kids love different. They love on the time. They love on time. You know what I'm saying? Spend more time with your children, so, a lot of times, me and my daughter, we don't do too much, but when we are doing something, or when we're not doing something, it's spent with her. You know what I'm saying? So we got some epic shit going on. I know y'all seen the horse bay ride, me and my daughter. We had a great time. Swimming pools, some, just a lot of shit that we're doing. I'm teaching her about the dogs. I'm teaching her about chickens and, and everything. Just everything I know, I'm pushing to my daughter. I'm pushing to my kids. And they don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm just letting them know that they have opportunities outside of, you know, whatever they got going on. But yeah. Shout out to all the fathers out there, man. Listen, try it, man. I don't care what's going on in the world. As long as you trying, dog, you're going to get somewhere, bro. Nobody stay in the same spot too long if you're trying. Now, if you ain't trying, you're just hoping that a goddamn miracle fall out the sky. Like, hey, miracle. Hey, hey miracle. Where you at? It don't work like that, bro. You got to work your ass off, bro. You got to work your ass off. And when you start working your ass off, I swear to God, this how this shit work. I don't know, I don't know if it worked for y'all, but this how it worked for me. Whenever I start working my ass out, grinding super hard, shit around me, I'm talking about everything around me, bro. Everything around me get harder. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about when I'm doing the right thing, bro. I'm talking about shit just be, ooh, weighing on me, bro. Shit get harder, bro. And that's what God is testing you. God is, God is, is want to put you in the most strenuous situations, bro, to build you up. Because when it's time to have some of that real, yeah, that real money, yeah, them real problems, he want to know that you can handle them, bro. God want to know that if he puts you in a position to be a millionaire, you know, whenever you're a millionaire, you got to take care of a lot of people that's not millionaires. Is what I'm saying. So if, I, if I'm a millionaire and I got a business, um, the managers, uh, supervisors, you know, all that type of shit, I'm taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? They taking care of me, I take care of them. So now I got to make sure that I'm doing everything I need to do so that they can take care of their family. So God is trying to put you in position, bro, to work you harder. Now, if shit get way too hard for you, you like, okay, I can't take this. Then God, you know what God will do? He'll push you back where you, where you belong. You know what I'm saying? He want to make sure, God want to make sure, not he or she, God, the world want to make sure that you, that you, that you, that, that they giving you everything you can handle. You know what I'm saying? So when shit get too busy and you sitting around, like, oh, it's just too busy, I'm overwhelmed, God will put you Oh, he'll push you down a little bit. Like, all right, well, maybe that's too much for you. I thought you wanted this. Whenever shit get real hard, that means shit is finna get, yo. That means you developing, you growing. That's how, whenever shit get real easy, God just, okay. I tried to give him something that was too hard, and then he was asking me to stop it. God, please help me out. He said, damn, I thought this is what you wanted. God, like, I thought this is what you wanted. I'm giving you all this, yo. I, I, I'm building you up. I can't build you up on giving you everything you want. I got to give you everything you don't want. All the shit you think ain't going to happen. I got to put this in your way. I got to put that in your way. Because that is what's going to get you better. That's what's going to grow you better. Now, if all this is too much for you, I, I'll pull back. God, like, I'll pull back. If this is too much for you, I'll pull back. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, I put you in a small house. If your house too big and the bill's too much for you, don't worry. No, God, all right, all right, no, get out the house. I'm going to evict you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put you in something small. See, the, the rent ain't that much. You know what I'm saying? The responsibilities ain't that much. Now, you, now you're happy because God just wants you happy, man. You know what I'm saying? God just wants you happy. The world just wants you happy, man. But when you ask for this shit, you say you want a mansion, but you know how hard it is to have a mansion? Bro, I'm, I'm, this, I got this little house, bro, and it's hard, bro. And I say I want a mansion, bro. So when God give me all this stuff that's going to make my life, go my, it's going to make my life super hard. And this is what God told me. I'm going to give you all this responsibility. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you get past this with a smile on your face, with praising me that this is what you asked for, I'm going to put you in something bigger. But you can't handle this. I, I ain't gonna put you in nothing bigger. If you can't handle this, if this is too much for you, if this crib is too much for you, I'm not gonna put you in nothing bigger. God, like you can't handle that. And I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. So this is my thing, man. Happy Father's Day. I know I be preaching. I know, I know, I know, I know I'm not a preacher or nothing like that. But man, my my dad is a pastor. He preached every Sunday, man. It's Sunday is Father's Day. When I was in the streets doing what I was doing, my dad preaching and all that type of shit. Now, my dad been in prison. I've been locked. I've been. We've been through a lot together. You know what I'm saying? Not together, but just hearing this story and looking at my story, how I don't know this man like that, but then I'm still. We still kind of resemble in so many different ways. Blood is real, man. Selective breeding is very important. But like I said, what I'm saying to say this: if you want something, you gonna get it. If you really want it. It's gonna get. It's gonna. It's gonna get. He gonna get. They gonna get to you. The God, the word, universe, whatever you believe in, gonna get to you, bro. He gonna. They gonna get to you, bro. And the question is, can you handle it? Now you can't handle it. They gonna put you back. You gonna fall back. Even when you think you can handle it, you still gonna fall back. But you gonna fall back and stay there. You know what I'm saying? Or you gonna fall back and jump up? But yo, yeah, God. Yeah, I'll, yeah, put, put, put some more on me. You know what I'm saying? Put some more on me, man. So I just be, whenever this shit get real, real tough on me, man, I be looking at, I be looking up, looking at the world like, put some more on me. Asking God, please put some more on me, man. God damn, this shit tough. I want more. Please put some more on me, bro, because this shit ain't hard. That mean I'm not growing, bro. If this shit ain't challenging, that mean I'm not moving. If this shit ain't breaking me down, that mean I am not building. You understand what I'm saying, man? I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscri subscribe for more videos. I got the best of the best dogs in the world. I got the best blood from Bossy to XDP to Mega Bill Bullies to Howard Sparta Bullies overseas. I got all the best blood in the game, and I put them together. That's what I did. This is what, this is, you say my dog's skinny and all type of shit. Listen, bro. I looked at all the genetics. It took me five years to pick the dogs that I wanted. I have the best dogs. I don't care what you say, what nobody think, or what they think. My dog ain't worth. These are seven, eight thousand dollar puppies, bro. Y'all just can't afford it, and a lot of y'all don't understand what the fuck these is yet. See, see, big, big breeders and shit. They don't show dogs when they skinny. They don't show dogs when they small like that. No, bro. They they keep them up, and then when they pop, they only show dogs at their best. Then you pop up like, damn, where this dog been? I only seen. A 10 second clip of this dog when it was like eight weeks and I ain't see it again till it was um fucking 10 months or a year. Yeah, that's why, bro. They don't show you everything. You don't get to watch everything. You don't get to watch dogs go through their ugly phases. You know how when you got dreads, you growing your hair out, and you got the little shit, and the girls don't want to talk to you and shit because you got the little shit. Then they see five years later when your shit like this, they're going to be like, damn. It's the same thing with the dogs, man. They go through an ugly stage where they don't look like they're going to be that, and then here go, boom, they pop. Now you ain't got it. Now you ain't you ain't spend the money on investing in some shit that was gonna be big. Now you now you ain't got the money. You was gonna spend the money anyway. I tell my nigga all the time, I talk to my nigga all day, shout out TJ on the Florida, man. They got the big girl, the first pick female. I tell niggas all the time, bro. I tell niggas the same shit all the time, bro. I said, if I gave you ten thousand dollars right now, my nigga, you gonna spend the ten thousand no matter what. Go on, spend some on some shit that's gonna make you some money. You're going to spend the money to grow. It's money is not made to be saved. It's made to be invested. A lot of y'all don't understand that. You try to save money. You look up. A year ago, by something happened. Boom, you got to dig into your savings. Now you look up. Look, that's crazy. You look up two years later, like, damn. I had that much money. I made that much money. But what did I buy? 
I bought, I spent, I went out to eat, I went to travel, I went to shoes, clothes. Damn, I don't got no money in my savings. But what do I got around me? I didn't already wear all the shoes. I didn't already wear all the clothes. I didn't already ate all the food. Now I didn't shit the food out. I didn't overwear the shoes. I didn't took pictures of the outfit. I can't post it no more. It's old. Damn, what I do with the money? While I'm over here wearing a fucking tank top, driving a Honda Accord, but it spent thirty, forty thousand dollars on dogs, and my bank account got thirty, forty thousand in it. This is what I'm saying, bro. You literally cannot spend money on shit that don't make you money, bro. These dogs gonna make you money if you do the right thing. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, happy Father's Day to all the, all, all the fathers. Happy Mother's Day that's that's had to step into the place of fathers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother Father's Day, man. Uh, we love you. Women, we can't do it without you. Real men know we can't do it without you. And I and I wouldn't be here if it weren't for women, man. So happy Mother's Father's Day. I know this is so fucked up that you got to say happy Mother's Day on Father's Day because some men ain't there. And I hope you niggas get your shit together. Um, dig deep. Dig deep. And understand that, bro, this shit bigger than you, bro. Whenever you decide to go, uh, in that box and that baby come out, uh, it's bigger than you now. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the baby no more. You understand what I'm saying? The baby is a baby. It's time to focus on the kids, man. Make sure you lock. Uh, make sure you lock yourself in with your kids, man. Make sure you put them first, man. That shit gonna work out. I put all my kids first. That's why I'm getting blessed. My life is not easy. My life would never be easy because I don't want nothing easy. I never ask for nothing easy. I don't ask God, please give me something easy. Because if I ask for that and he put me in the goddamn projects in a one-bedroom apartment with with fucking people on the corner smoking drugs and selling drugs, ran out. Then I'm like, damn, God, why, why you do this to me? He's like, damn, you asked for something easy. You wanted the bare minimum. So that's why I did that for you. I ain't asked for the bare minimum. I, I want I want, I want, want the riches. I want everything. I want wealth, real wealth. So make this shit hard on me. If I got to wake up early in the morning and don't go to sleep at 3 in the morning, I'll do whatever it takes, God, because this is what I asked for. That's what I asked for. I don't want nothing easy. I don't want nothing easy. Now, I know y'all don't want nothing easy either, man. Take your time. Do the right thing, man. Be kind to others. And I love you. Mashallah. Mashallah.